Welcome back. I'm Kelly Sparta, and today we are going to talk about how to heal from trauma or illness by talking to the trauma or the illness. Now, there are many different ways that you can um, do healing work on yourself. Uh, today, I'm, we're just going to talk about this one because we dive deep on very small subjects, right? <laughs> so uh, we're simply going to have the conversation today about that. And so when you have a, uh, I'm, I'm just going to talk about it from an illness perspective, the same thing works for trauma, okay? When we have an illness, if we have a dis-ease in our system, there's a reason for it. Energetically, there's something that is a, a foul, right? There's something going on. So for instance, if we really need a day off, we might get sick, right? little gives us a, a reinforced break. Uh, if we really need to take some time off. So my, my assistant's going through this right now and uh, she broke a wrist and she didn't take time off. And then her computer died. And I, I said, okay, so I think that it's time for you to take a couple of weeks off because you broke your wrist, your computer died. I'm kind of thinking your next step is going to be the hospital if you don't pay attention to what's going on. And she said, yeah, I kind of think I need some time off. I'm like, okay. So this is the sort of thing that I want you to pay attention to is sometimes the universe is going to give you hints of that nature, right? So it, something like hers is simply a matter of just saying, okay, I'm listening and, and taking the message and doing what you need to do to fix it. Other times it's not going to be as obvious, right? And in those times, let's say you've got a backache that just won't go away, right? So you go in and you talk to the backache and you're like, okay, what's going on here? And, and it will talk to you. If you get still and you go into yourself and you get quiet and you go find that backache and you don't fight it, don't fight it, don't be angry at it, don't be frustrated with it because it's not going to want to talk to you if you put it on the defensive. Okay. This is the same thing as talking to anybody else. You just go in, you go, okay, you're trying to tell me something. What are you trying to tell me? And let it tell you. It may tell you that you've got muscle stiffness in your butt from sitting for too long and you need to roll around on some tennis balls and, or, you know, get out more and walk more, stand more, or whatever. It may say, I'm really stressed out. You know, you're really stressed out about this, that, or the other thing. And you need to, you need to address that issue. You need to look at it because I'm not going away until you do, right? It could say any number of things to you. You never know what's going to come out of these things. So go in and talk to it. Let it tell you what the problem is. Because inevitably, it's something that you're not paying attention to. It's something that either you haven't noticed yet or you're ignoring. At which point, you know, you got to pay attention because your body is taking on the issue, okay? And if it just says, I'm stressed, you know, you, then you've got to find ways to de-stress. You've got to find things that you can do that will take the stress out of your system, okay? Whatever it tells you, you need to listen because if you don't, things amp up, like broken wrists and broken computers and God knows what else comes after that, right? So pay attention to the messages you're getting, talk to the things that aren't letting go and see what they have to tell you. And if you're finding that whatever it is that you're talking to is more stubborn than you think, uh, or more stubborn than you wish it was, uh, you know, take a look at the Inner Peace 101 program. I'll put a link for you in the, in the notes below. Uh, and, it, you know, it can be really helpful for letting go of a lot of the things that are traumatizing us, a lot of the things that are causing angst and upset in our systems. So take a look at the Inner Peace 101 program. It is the place where you go to find emotional safety. You know, it deals with fear and anxiety and worry and dread and self-doubt and inner and outer judgment, all of these things while building a foundation of self-support and courage all of which are super helpful for doing any healing work that you're going to do. In fact, they're crucial for doing any healing work there that you're going to do. You have to do them before you do anything else. Okay. And that's your tip for today. Be well. I'll see you next time. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and rate. Thanks.